Y'all, when I went to adjust the camera back there at the airport, I stopped the video and didn't even know it. I've been driving for 10 minutes just to talking and realized the camera wasn't, the camera, the video wasn't on. Oh, Lordy, I don't know what y'all gonna do with me. I'm telling you. Yeah, when I reached up there to adjust the phone, for y'all to see the uh, airplane. And when I moved it back, I guess it turned the video off. Oh my goodness. I know this phone's a lot more sensitive than the other one. There's been several things that uh, I'm trying to get used to. But where I grabbed was on top of the phone, but I didn't realize I was touching the phone. I thought I was only touching the holder. There's some pretty blue bonnets over there to the right. But anyway, we're headed out towards the Lake Nacogdoches. I'm going to go by a friend of mine's house to get cuttings off of their fig tree. I've been waiting since last summer uh, to get cuttings. So I've been trying to get out there for the last few weeks. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. What I was saying when I, I thought the video was on was me and Brindley's just been out looking for uh, a few plants that I want, but I can't find the color. I'm looking for impatience, but I want a certain color. And I've been looking for cabbage plants. I planted cabbage seeds, but I wanted to get a few plants so I could have cabbage before the seeds made cabbage. But I can't find any, y'all. I couldn't find any last year and I couldn't find any onion seeds. I only grew onions from my cuttings like I showed y'all. That's the only onions that I had last year and maybe the year before. But uh, there was no cabbage plants last year when I was looking. I don't know. I know they're telling me that they get them in but I guess they they all get bought up before I get there. They've gotten all the baby chicks and ducks in for uh, for Easter. And uh, I always dread that, y'all, because so many get bought. They don't want those babies. A lot of them rehome them, and some of them I never find out what happens to them. But, you know, uh, they're cute. But they're a big responsibility. I mean, just like people buying puppies. And then two or three months later, you know, they're, they, they're grown and they're not little bitty anymore. And, uh, you know, you got to feed them and walk them and they got to poop. And the next thing you know, they don't want them anymore. That's uh, it's very uh, aggravating to me that people do that stuff. But there's nothing we can do about it. They'll do it as long as there's people on earth, I guess. But uh, if anybody local buys any and don't want them, I'll sure take them off your hands and give them a good home. That's how I got the two ducks I have. They were left after uh, Easter. Nobody bought them. The, I don't know, the lady let me have them for, I don't know, $1.25, $2.25, something. I don't know, it was real cheap. And now I've had them a long time. So long that they don't even lay anymore. I guess their body doesn't have enough uh, protein. And I give them all kinds of protein supplements. Woo-wee! It's my turn smelling a skunk.
even Brindley's, even Brindley's having a fit, y'all. And there was a highway patrol man and a skunk, and I missed my turn. multitasking today we found us some berries right there if the weather permits and I can get out to pick I should be able to get quite a few I haven't been 
been to this place in years and years and years. Um, I've been to several weddings down here, and uh, they have, uh, or they used to have cabins, and you could lease. pretty back here. Okay, let's try this one more time. Anyway, they had, uh, they used to have like a little golf course, uh, hot tubs, where you could walk, where you could fish. I think they might have even supplied the fishing poles and stuff back then. I don't know, y'all. I hadn't checked into this in a long time, but uh, I had bought a gift certificate for my son a couple of times years ago, and uh, he really enjoyed uh, he really enjoyed coming out and uh, staying here. Okay. I thought it was this drive, y'all, but that car was Pine Creek Retreat. They had a bunch of trees fall across the road. I thought there was a circle drive that went through here. Maybe it circles down around the lodge and the cabins. I'm glad y'all here. Y'all got my back, right? Oh, look at there. Boy, they've had wild hogs. Look at that. All that digging in that in that pine straw. Boy, they have tore it up. There's the lake or the pond. Maybe I can get through here and won't get shot. Lodge. Yeah, this is where they have the weddings and the restaurant and and all that stuff. RVs, they got RV parking. back here y'all it's a very pretty place I don't know if I can drive back here they have a swimming pool or they did let's see do we feel adventurous oh they got it blocked off we can't see where that fence is right there to the right oh maybe it's at the bottom of the hill yeah it's right there over the fence Let's just make a little loop-de-loop -loop right here and 
let y'all look back from the other side in case anybody, there's another pond back there. And the swimming pool is right there behind that little fence. And that's the main lodge and all the cabins are back over, over in the woods there. They did have some rooms in this building at one time, but I don't know if they still have any. Y'all, it's been years since I've been out here. I grew up out in this area, uh, but back then this was just family owned by some people that I know. And I don't even know if that family still, uh, still owns this property or not. I don't know who owns it, but there's the, there's the pond and they had some, they had some land back there somewhere at one time, like a little putting thing. Cause my son was golfing back then. But uh, I'm gonna drive down through here. Cottage 17 and 18. See, let y'all see something different. Oh, there's a big nice swing out there under the overlooking all this prettiness. Y'all is so quiet out here. Like I can hear the quiet in my in my car. Like I can hear the quiet. It's so quiet. a little cabin right there, that little brown building with the little porch. They got all kinds of little cabins out here. Um, they rent a lot of these out, y'all, when uh, companies come in or they have weddings and, uh, you know, they have big parties over there in that main room and they, uh, they stay overnight. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, there's still some, there's still some rooms over there in that, uh, in that other building. I can see them from here, but I can't, I can't drive and, uh, let me go up in here and show y'all these. These are cute. Y'all, and it's all like hills and valleys. There's no flat land over here. So cool. Look at that beautiful dogwood. Y'all see that dogwood tree right there? Isn't that pretty? Very nice, y'all. I know my son always enjoys it over here. That's why I'm getting my that's why I'd get him a room and uh, I'd have hot tubs and they would have a meal, a complimentary meal and uh, he had fish. They, they, he didn't have to bring his fishing equipment. Back then they, they supplied it and uh, I don't know if they still do now. And then there was somewhere then where you could hit golf balls, but I don't know if they still have that or not. But he, he really enjoyed, uh, you know, a couple of days out, out, you know, to get out of the work, the rat race. It's quiet. He didn't have to really do anything, but just, he, he's like me. He likes to, to walk and uh, be on an adventure. So there's a lot of woods and walking and, um, it was just real relaxing. So we're going back to the main gate. 
Well, at least I know there was a circle. I thought it was a circle all the way in and out. That's why I went in that other drive right there. I thought it, I really thought that was part of it. And I saw the private sign after I got in there. So this is Pine Creek Retreat. If anybody's interested and the road I went down is Big Oak Road so don't go down Big Oak Road <laughs> it's a private road but they need to put up a bigger sign I really didn't see that sign but y'all that I thought that car behind me was gonna run over me so I'm just glad I didn't get hit But y'all, I'm going to end this video. I don't like to make them too long and bore y'all. But uh, we'll do another one and we might go over by the lake. But uh, y'all be blessed and don't forget to say your prayers.